Hello everybody, welcome back to Evolve. We're going to be playing as Goalie in this one. We are on the Jurassic Park map. This is Avery. Um, we are against Slim, Bucket, Crow and Torvald for this one. We're actually going to do default. We'll stick him, keep him normal. Um, his default look actually has a bit of a soft spot for me. He's quite a nice design, you know. Um, Team-wise, this is quite good. Um, it's very high damage because you've got an attack-based support and an attack-based medic. So... The weakest link is Crow because stasis is not what you need to slow Goalie down. Uh, most of his leaps and his charges just ignore stasis, so harpoons are the slowdown of choice and this team doesn't have any, so yeah. If I want to run away there's no chance they're going to be able to stop me to, from doing that, you know, so we have that on our side. We are in the zoo, as I've just mentioned. And yeah, we'll get started. If this is your first video, first and foremost, welcome. Uh, this is Evolve, it is a 4v1 ASIM. If you are uninitiated, that's some birds alerted, so they're going to know which direction I've gone immediately. Um, we're currently playing as the monster, obviously. Uh, and immediately out of the gates, we are tasked with escaping the woes of stage 1, because at the moment we are incredibly weak. Uh, damage is subpar, HP is very minimal, as you can tell by the top of the screen. And the hunters in this situation are the power roll. So what we're going to be doing is just going around the map looking for wildlife, killing, eating it and filling the ring that you may have saw previously. Uh, if anything did actually exist on this planet, that would be very nice. There we go. Make a start with these. So yeah, once this little meter fills, we'll be able to grab the next stage. When we evolve, we get bigger, we get more HP, our visage changes, and yeah, we're going to be doing more damage. We're going to be a bit more combat capable, basically, once we do stage up. And this. We just need to be wary while we're moving around that we don't walk back into the Hunters, because this map is a map that does make you e turn quite a lot, so... can be quite easy to get caught off guard. If I had to guess, they are somewhere in that direction at the moment, probably outside, investigating the footsteps. So we've got a bit of a head of time here. We are about to reach the evolution. This is going to do it. Okay, now it's legit taking the piss out of me by just spawning things on top of me. Right, we're going to grab the stage up, that bird, uh, bird alert's going to tell them exactly where I am. But we will grab this, because I do believe we have distance on our side at the moment. We'll just grab it in this little trench. We'll learn how to throw rocks, which is a customary of a stage 2 goliath. You see the spikes are starting to get more prominent on his back as well. Game is just jam packed full of attention to detail and just peak monster design that's never been surpassed, at least from my perspective anyway, since 2015 when this game came out. Because I bet you didn't expect that either. Something I've been saying recently in a lot of my videos that, you know, if I was to approach somebody just randomly, show them this game and say, when do you think it was released? I genuinely don't think many people would say 2015 or that early, you know ahead of its time in many aspects and still kind of is to be honest which is tragic with this industry considering the sheer detail and you know finesse and care that was put into the characters in this game we lost something great fellas unfortunately because we were too concerned with how much the color of guns were costing you know the world fucking ended all that kind of shit you know so, in combat, uh, we are going to go for Crow here, because he is the one who has trapped us. He is at the trapper roll. Uh, I don't actually have a follow-up there. We'll go and get one of these lads. It's quite a stealth-based team, this as well, because they do have Bucket, who can cloak, but they've also got Slim, who is planting spore clouds in the air from time to time, which obscures my vision. I will take a move speed, actually, that's the spore cloud that you see in there. I do want to go and grab this move speed though, if I'm being completely honest. 
it is insanely fast because it is the move speed buff. There you go. We will get it. Grab this as well. Just while we're in it. We'll get back in there. Splash there. Uh, they're probably going to get used out of that med bay because I need to prioritise getting somebody down here. Uh, the med bays will remove strikes that we earn on the hunters. That's going to get in the way. Did it? Yeah, it did. Rather unfortunate, but we still get the down. It's going to allow us to get the evolve as well. Fumble from the bucket. Get down as well. Yeah. See how his elf bar is slightly smaller, because he's used the thing, he's removed one of the strikes. Or oh, that first strike we got, I should say. Animation detail, ladies and gentlemen, you don't see that these days in this genre. We'll get out there. We do regain that strike there. I do think it's quite amusing though, as I say. Well, it's not amusing actually, it's not something I want to be laughing at, but it is the concept of the fact that the game that's currently at the top of this genre, you probably know what it's called, you know, DBD, um, actually doesn't even look like it came out in the same fucking decade as this game does, you know, but it's an horse I've well and truly beaten to death at this point, you know, I can't literally, you know, I just can't say any more about it, to be honest. We are going to go for one more here, because I want to try and get a strike on Torvald. If I may be so greedy. There's also a little bit of detail as well with whenever Slim's on the thing, you'll see around his arse and on his back there, the little green splotches. That's that's literally the, the positions I've been hit by the Spore Cloud. Fuck me. Alright, it's fine. It's getting a bit, you know, the blood pressure's getting a little bit high because we genuinely lost this and got Dead by Daylight as a replacement. Fucking timeline, dude. It's fine. We are going to get that down pretty damn quickly. Good, good, good. Health Regen Tyrant is... dead. I don't really need that myself at the moment, though. Literally went for everybody except the person I said I wanted to strike on, so that's going to be a bit counterproductive. Actually dodge that. I think I splashed him actually. That's fine, we get it anyway. Uh you is who I need now. We can sacrifice a bit of HP here because we we've actually done quite well up until this point. We can spend a little bit doing this. Massively isolated now as well, so he's not gonna have any support. His shield's dropped, so that should be a down. Us, sit in the middle and we'll go and grab stage 3 I'm going to shut up about it after I say this next point fellas because you know I, I don't like to keep going on about it in the videos as much as it sounds like it's quite ranty it's just literally patching but can you see how much more fun this is than running around in fucking circles you know dropping a bit of wood in front of a character you know it's just it's it's night and day to me you know but that's not me saying that Dead by Daylight is complete dog shit either. Like I've said this before, it's dog shit because they refuse to do anything with it. They don't push boundaries because they don't need to because there's no active competition in the genre, you know? If this was alive and it was actually getting, you know, updates and things like that and it was actually development here, I, t I tell you now, right, behaviour would fucking shit themselves. Honestly. And that's not a threat. It's not an um, a, a, a aggressive claim or anything like that. It's me being fucking factual, fellas. Because this is actually a game that's been made by decent developers, you know. It's not people winging it. Yeah. And, you know, that might be quite a shallow thing to say, you know, about people who do work on the game. Because I know game design's hard. I can't animate. But at the same time, they're significantly better in the fucking industry, mate. Yeah. So, the people who are on the animation team and all that kind of thing for Dead by Daylight could use a little bit of fucking practice, you know, that kind of thing, compared to this. Because this is professionally made, you know, you can see it. And this came out a year before Dead by Daylight, as I mentioned at the beginning, you know. 
But anyway, there you go. We'll end it there. Uh, we are about to end the game, probably, because we're stage three at the moment. This is your power trip. Once you get to this, because this is what the, mon uh, the hunters are supposed to stop. I didn't see where the robot went, unfortunately. There he is. Tried to stealth the revive there. He's used his cloak at the moment. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he's robot still here. There you go. Passion always creeps in, fellas, whenever I play as Gaulish. He was my main back in the day. Insanely fun to play as. And just, you know, it creeps into the mind. But as I've said, fellas, we chose a very wrong, as far as I'm concerned anyway, we chose the wrong fucking direction with this genre when, you know, we shut it down because my wallets and all this bollocks about the DLC and all that kind of thing. I know it's predatory, I know it was, but I'm still somebody who literally will sit here all this time later and say that 15.99 for Behemoth was a fucking solid bet. Like, I'm happy with that as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> You know, like, I'm still here getting fun out of the game, you know? So as far as I'm concerned, that 15 99 that I spent nine years ago now, yeah, still getting value out of it, fellas, you know? So as far as I'm concerned, no, it wasn't too high of a price, quite honestly. Um, I know that's not the same for everybody, obviously, because other people have different opinions and all that kind of thing, but the long and short of it is, fellas, if you put this game next to Dead by Daylight, the game that is currently at the peak, that's why I reference it a lot, it'd be any other game that was at the peak if there was another game there, you know, of the same kind of low quality, that kind of thing. It's night and day. It is literally night and day, mate. As I said, like, this game looks like it didn't come out in the same fucking decade to Dead by Daylight. If you was to say that this came out in 2015, Dead by Daylight would come out in fucking 2006, mate. Yeah. So, to say that that game is now at the top of the genre, that's what annoys me. But again, as I also mentioned there, just to cap it off, cement the point, you know, I don't hate Dead by Daylight for being Dead by Daylight. I hate Dead by Daylight for being a low quality, subpar, atmosphericless, just shit show that is only in existence because it has licenses in it. Yeah? That's what annoys me. We've noticed in recent, probably recent years now, yeah, because it's been about two or three years, they're only really releasing licensed killers these days. There's, there's, they only go through very small stints where they're releasing their own killers. And a lot of their own killers in that game actually have solid designs to them. We had the unknown, we had the singularity, you know, all the kinds of monsters. They can design good monsters, you know, but they seem to lean too much into licensed stuff because it's carrying the game. I've seen this this claim used by a lot of other people as well because it is it's factual. It's basically factual. Yeah. Um, whenever they release a, a licensed character, the game gets a massive influx of players from people who are interested in that particular franchise, and then they start playing it. That kind of thing. That's how they keep people coming in. You know. But if your game hinges on its licenses with not much else going for it, then it's not a good game. And that's literally what DVD is. Yeah. Because as soon as the license is released, you get about two or three weeks out of it, and then the players start declining pretty damn fast as well, you know, but as I say, it is what it is, I've, I've said it, you know, time and time again now, but yeah, we'll leave it there, hope you've enjoyed as always, oh actually, there is a point I want to make, there's a little, I was saving this for a bit of a broader video, I don't know if I'm going to make that at the moment, because work's kicking my ass. I can't get two minutes to myself at the moment, but, um, Predator Hunting Grounds is getting a revival, fellas. If you don't know what that is, there's a couple of you on this channel who's been telling me to, you know, give it a look, have a play of it, all that kind of thing. Um, I did a bit of research on it at the moment, not intensively, you know, because Predator for me is not, you know, it's not something I'm interested in personally, but I did see that the gameplay is similar to Evolve, um, in that it is a 4v1, I think it's a 4v1, or it's a something v1. You play as a Predator and there's a lot of other people shooting at you, all that kind of thing. Uh, it's getting a revival, and it was in the same exact position this game was in, fellas. So, our brothers over in that community, yeah, we are wishing them success. I am, because if that happens, fellas, that means 2K might fucking wake up and realise they have a cash cow of their own doing fuck all right here, you know? 
and we might get a revival out of this game. I've said it time and time again, they can turn around and say, oh, we're not we're not doing the revival, no, we're going to turn it off, you know, we turn the servers off, and then tomorrow, bang, oh, actually guys, we'll, we'll we will revive this, I will not hate your company at all. What I will hate your company for is the extended silence and fuck all that's happening after absolutely botching this revival that they tried in the most clueless way imaginable, but I'm not going to go into that because it gets heated every time because it's just fucking embarrassing. Um, but yeah, so we're going to see how Predator Hunting Guns goes. It's getting re-released on Xbox on the 1st of October. Uh, tomorrow, literally, when this video... Oh, actually, today. Today. When this video goes out, that is. Um, but yeah. So, we're going to wish those lot, you know, good luck with it, the revival, uh, if it does happen. Because obviously, if it revives it, then there is a bit of competition that's coming to Dead by Daylight then as well. So, there's going to be a bit more in the genre, and it might cause 2k to wake up and think actually we can have a bit of a stake in this as well and then revive this game you know and then behavior might actually have to pull the finger out their asses and put effort into the game that they're making you know rather than just farming licenses releasing two floating fucking killers back to back so they don't have to actually animate things and all that kind of thing you know um but yeah there it is so I hope you've enjoyed the gameplay, as I say, about 10 minutes ago now, but it usually is whenever these passion rants arise. And yeah, I will hopefully see you for the next one. Bye.